Dubai International is the busiest global hub in the world. Every day, 182,000 passengers pass through between 260 destinations. Their luggage is routinely scanned as it passes on to connecting flights. The passengers may not be staying in Dubai, but if customs and police find something they think could be illegal, passengers will be stopped from their onward flight. We'll update by 4 o'clock, yeah? Airport services manager Mel is responsible for the smooth flow of Emirates passengers here. On any given day, she can find herself dealing with people arriving from almost anywhere in the world. In her 10 years at Dubai International, there isn't much she hasn't had to deal with. Any inbound? From yes, missing no, luggage no. to missing passengers, she has seen it all. Hello, Mel speaking. Hold on a second, what do you mean live snakes? Where? In her checked-in baggage? All right. I'm on my way. I'm on my way, hun. I'm there. I'm coming down. All right, bye bye. Bye. Okay, we have an issue, guys. Let's get to Concourse C. Yeah. Yeah. On today's flight, we found that there's one bag full of live snakes, which has been picked up by the police. The passenger who the baggage belongs to has claimed that it's not her bag. I'm not quite sure of the full story, what's happening, but we do need to get down to the aircraft. I hate snakes. The passengers in question have arrived from Jakarta and are transiting through Dubai on their way to Kuwait. A routine scan of their luggage first alerted airport authorities. One of Mel's colleagues who has carried out a preliminary interview with the passengers has got more information about the bag. Do we have any more details about this passenger? Uh, yeah, she actually initially claimed that um, the bag does not belong to her. We further questioned her and then she started to um, become a little nervous. The customer who she claims the bag belongs to mm. is no such customer. With the ownership of the bag in dispute, Mel needs to turn detective. She speaks to an Emirates baggage handler. Okay, so um, when you asked her about her baggage, what did she say? She denied it. She said uh, these bags are not belongs to her. Mm. Perhaps this, uh, these bags are belongs to someone else. She has helped that uh, person because they were having excess baggage. Mel now needs to question the owner of the bag and members of the traveling party to get their side of the story. Definitely, this is uh, possibly a criminal case. Hello. Hello. I understand. No, camera. no, that's fine. No issues. I just want to. No, no, he's, he's not going to film you if you don't want to be filmed. Sure. It's not a problem at all. In order to investigate, I need to ask you some questions. I need to understand exactly what's happened here, okay? Because what I'm getting is that the baggage downstairs that we found doesn't belong to you. So I need to investigate that. Um, is it your baggage that we're talking about? It's not your baggage? Whatever the truth of their story, one thing is certain. At the end of the day, you and your family are not traveling, so you're not traveling on this flight. We will look for a flight for you, but I need to understand exactly what's happened here. The situation reaches a stalemate. The passengers claim they do not own the bags. The evidence suggests that they do own them, but Mel has to be sure. Okay, so... One thing is certain. Checking in bags for another person is against the airline's policy. OK, let's go and have a look at the bag. Ever professional, Mel doesn't forget that she still has a duty of care over the passengers and their children. If you can get some meal vouchers, maybe get them some food, because the children are quite small, yeah? I've got to try and understand what's happened here. There's two different stories. One is that the baggage doesn't belong to the passenger um, and that the passenger was just assisting another passenger. In addition to which, um, there's other conflicting stories saying that the baggage does belong to the passenger, so we need to get to the bottom of it, really. This situation is going to call on all her years of experience if she's to find the answers she needs. I'm following you. This is new for me. So you discovered today something? Yes. Snakes? <gasps> oh! Are they eggs? Those are eggs, right? The scans show the cases are packed with snakes and eggs. These cases are alive. 
this large case contains a huge snake. Oh, my gosh. I'm just curious to know, we've got the other baggage that belongs to the same passengers, so I'm just curious to know what's been packed in those bags. Maybe there'll be another surprise, who knows? Oh, my gosh. And what's in here? Oh, that's a... Oh! That's upset me, that has. The cases are full of monkeys, and there are even kittens in there, likely destined to be fed to the snakes. No, no, of course not. This has to be declared by our customs yeah, and everything. We need certificates. Live animals can only be transported legally with the correct paperwork and in proper containers. And if the animals are an endangered species, the maximum punishment in Dubai is up to six months in jail and a fine of over $10,000. It's, it's absolutely heart-wrenching. I, I hate to think how those animals are feeling. All I can hear is the crying, so I don't really want to look. I think everybody's feeling the same. Um, it's not a nice situation at all. It's inhumane, actually. Any item of luggage that has disputed ownership is a massive security risk. And coupled with the animal trafficking, Mel has only one option, to hand over the matter to the Dubai police. Although uh, the passengers suggesting that she tried to help another passenger with excess baggage. Um, ultimately, she checked in those bags. The baggage receipts are under her name. Um, and again, he said if it had been any illegal substances, it's very easy for people to turn around and say, I checked it in for somebody else. So they are going to pursue a case in this instance. They're going to take uh, the passenger and the other passengers upstairs that are traveling with her to the main police office in Conkosby. This is now a, a criminal case. Oh, no. With the animals now safely cared for and the passengers facing a police investigation, Mel can return to the main terminal. <laughs>